Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today on Beer Geek Nation, we're doing another brewery spotlight. Uh, in these videos, I like to spotlight from a couple, couple of different beers from smaller breweries, maybe up and coming new breweries, maybe breweries that people haven't heard of uh, so much. And today we are talking about Yonkers Brewing out of Yonkers, New York, obviously. They started in 2012, very small operation, but they uh, were kind enough to send me some of their beers in growlers. Uh, they currently also bottle the Yonkers Lager. It looks like it's bottled in Connecticut, so it might be contract brewed. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a Vienna style lager, so I'm gonna check that one out too. So what are the beers we are looking at today? Well, we are looking at a Dortmunder, which you don't see too many breweries brew. It's, it's kind of one of those styles that not a lot of people brew. It's, it's a light lager, as you can see, light colored lager, I should say. Uh, beer to Guard, which is another beer you don't see a lot of breweries beer. It's basically the lager of the Belgian world. Um, it technically means beer to cellar. Um, so it is a beer that can kind of, you can hang on to, but it's, um, yeah, basically a lager of the Belgian beer world. Uh, a Citra Pale Ale, which is, I guess they're Pale Ale, with citra hops and I was looking at the website it looks like they do a bunch of single hop beers they test different beers uh, they have a mosaic I think they had a centennial as well and last but not least this is a golden strong ale Belgian style golden strong ale so think of you know a triple or a, a duval something like that uh, one of my favorite styles actually so I'm glad I'm getting to try that one so I guess we should start from the lagers and work our way up so let's do the Dortmunder first Oh, that's nice, yeah. Nice sweet Pilsner malt. You get that grapey kind of Pilsner uh, flavor. Super clean, that lagery clean finish. Nice breadiness, nice maltiness. Very, very classic German style lager. Really well done. This is one of those beers it's really hard to beer, uh, brew good. Like a lot can go wrong real quick with beer like that because there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of substance to hide behind in a beer like that. It's just it's clean. It's got to be you know lager that that clean lager finish, nice pilsner malt. It really just relies on the brewing technique as well as the ingredients, and you got to nail them every time. And they they nailed that one. So the beer to guard. That's really nice too. Wow. Nice sweet fruitiness, uh, big kind of sweet maltiness, maybe a little bit of Pilsner malt in there. Uh, definitely a toastiness to it. Again, a clean finish on that one, no aftertaste whatsoever. Uh, it's got a lot of body to it. Um, again, this is kind of like a, a lager of the Belgian world, so it has some of those Belgian-y qualities, that slight phenolic note, but it's really clean, biscuity, malty. Again, a really hard beer to brew, so you gotta make sure you're doing it well, and they, and they did it really nicely. So let's move on to the Citra Pale Ale. Oh wow, that's nice. Wow, big tropical fruits, orange, grapefruit, mango, a lot of peach coming off this one. Very light maltiness to it, super clean, super dry. Aftertaste, more of that citra hop coming through. Really a, a hop forward beer, uh, but not aggressively bitter. Not, not, not like an IPA, but it's definitely kind of just highlighting that hop characteristic. Really, really nice use of the citra hops. Fantastic stuff. Oh, nice, yeah. All right, and the Belgian Golden, excuse me, Belgian Strong Ale, cheers. Oh, wow. Wow, that's nice. Wow. Nice, sweet banana, phenolic, bubblegum, clove. Bready, sweet maltiness to it. Lots of body on there. Uh, sweet finish in the aftertaste. I'm getting more of that clove, more of that spicy kind of Belgian phenolic note, a little bit of sweetness in there. A very, very nice. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's got like a subtle fruitiness to it as well, which I really like. Um, probably coming from the malt, probably coming from the yeast as well. A really nice Belgian style golden ale. Wow, good stuff. And last but certainly not least, this is the Yonkers Lager, which I'm assuming you can buy um, in New York, maybe the New England area, uh, since it is bottled in Connecticut. Oh, that's nice too. It's a Vienna Lager, I believe. Oh yeah, so you get that nice toastiness, 
roastiness, uh, nice sweet bready maltiness, super clean finish, super dry lagery finish, very, very refreshing, but it's got that malt characteristic to kind of keep it interesting. So all very good beers. It looks like they're focusing on a lot of German style beers. Uh, from what I can tell based on the, the, the website, uh, a lot of whip beers, a lot of Martins, uh, but they're also doing IPAs, double IPAs, pale ale, so a little bit of everything. If you guys are in New York, um, in the Yonkers area, check them out. It looks like, I saw on their website, it also looks like if you're going to a Yankees game, you can get a free growler, and I guess you just pay for the beer. Uh, if you're going there, there's like a coupon code or something, so that was pretty cool, I thought. Um, so I hope they get a lot of business that way. So check these guys out. Very, very good stuff. Uh, very, I mean, to be a new brewery and brewing really kind of hardcore German style, like lagers and nailing them, uh, that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot for the brewing staff they have over there. So that's a hard, that's a hard task to do. Uh, a lot of people take lagers for granted and they're very, very hard styles to brew just because they can go bad real quick. Like it doesn't take much to screw them up and these guys are nailing it. Such a pale is fantastic. Just great stuff. So thank you again, Yonkers Brewing, for hooking me up with this, giving a shot. Uh, definitely check them out. If you guys had them, let me know in the comments section below what your favorite beer from them is. Remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.